This is Seneco, July 2022, General Mathematics Paper. To end, we are answering question number 2B. End of the question. Ask you to simplify uh, this algebraic fraction, and the numerator of the fraction is 4a squared minus 49b squared over 2a squared plus 5ab minus 7b squared. This is the algebraic expression that you ask you to simplify, meaning write it in much, much simpler form. So let's attempt to answer this question together. So what you do first is to copy the given algebraic fraction acts to simplify. If I copy it, you now have 4a squared minus 49b squared all over 2a squared plus 5ab minus 7b squared. So to factorize uh, algebraic factorization, that is uh, to factorize algebraic fraction, what you need to do is to factorize all those that are factorizable. Look at that your numerator is factorizable. Look at that the denominator also. Well, wow. attempt to factorize it. So starting with the numerator, this 4 can be written as 2 square. So this 4a square, this very term will now be 2 square a square, which you can now take the power 2 outside the bracket. Similarly, 49 can be written in index form as 7 square. So this 49b square will now be rewritten as 7 square b square, which you can now take the power 2 outside the bracket and write it in this form. So the numerator will now be, instead of 4a square, you now have 2a in bracket, and the bracket rest of the power of 2, minus this minus, which I just copied. Instead 49b square, you now have 7b in the bracket, and the bracket rest to the power of 2. So if I go down the denominator, in attempt to factorize this also, you need to split this middle term so that you have two other terms, so that in the end you now have four terms with the hope of finding two, two terms that you can factorize each together. So splitting 5ab as two terms, you now have something like minus 2ab plus 7ab. These two, two terms that I have introduced. Minus 2a plus 7 is gives you this a positive 5. So instead this plus 5ab, I split it using this to two terms. Then I copy the other term, the very first term, the 2a square, and I copy the last term, 7b square. So let us move and factorize. So look at my numerator. I have two terms both having the power to end the subtraction in between them. And I can now use the difference of two squares. To factorize this, factorization of the numerator using difference of two squares will now give uh, two brackets, and inside the very first bracket, you have 2a minus 7b. The very first term here that is having power 2, 2a, 2a is what you write first in each of the two brackets. Then the second term in each bracket will now be 7b, 7b. Then in between them, in one bracket, will be minus. In between them in the other bracket will now be plus. This is what we learned in our SS1. Factorization is in difference of two squares. Then factorization of the denominator. Look at this to four terms. Taking the first two, two a square and minus to two a b. What is common here is to two a. Two a can divide these two terms. If I look at the third and the fourth term, seven a b and seven b square. I can divide each of these to two terms by 7b. So let me do that. So if you do that correctly, you now have 2a outside of the bracket. Inside of the bracket, you now have a minus b. This a is a result of dividing 2a squared by what you factor out, which is 2a. So that gives you a. And dividing minus 2ab by 2a, that gives you minus b. Similarly, if you move to the second two, the other two terms, 7b outside the bracket, if you now open the bracket, uh, what you have here is a result of dividing 7ab by 7b, that gives you a. Dividing minus 7b squared by 7b, that gives you minus b. So if we continue, still the denominator can be factorized further. So that gives answer a minus b. Look at a minus b, the common bracket there. Then I'll open another one. Then I'll copy what I have outside the two brackets, which is 2a plus 7b. I just copied my numerator. So if we continue, 
Now check whether there are brackets that we can cancel. You can see that 2a plus 7b, this second bracket at the numerator level. I have 2a plus 7b exactly inside a bracket at the denominator level. So I can cancel this bracket by this. So in the area, you now have uh, 2a minus 7b as your numerator divided by a minus b as your denominator. And this is where you can stop. You cannot move further. So this is the simplest form. So that answered this very question. So let me just share with you the mark distribution for this very question as it is contained in the marking scheme. So the very first mark is the method one mark. And this method one mark is for factorizing the numerator correctly. You have this method one mark. The next mark is another method one mark. And the, this mark is for factorizing the denominator correctly. That gives you this method one mark. Now, canceling the common factors that you have between the numerator and the denominator, this gives you this method one mark. And when you now have a correct answer as to 2a minus 7b all over a minus b, this gives you this accuracy one mark. So, in total, this question to be has four good marks.